uh, uh, public safety uh, day at, uh, at the farmer's market. Uh, that was yesterday and then a couple of weeks ago we had the public works with the utilities folks to uh, uh, a day at the farmer's market. Of course, kids love this. They love climbing on the equipment and getting the, they interact with our employees and all that. But I think huh. uh, the other uh, valuable parts of this is that uh, citizens get to see get to meet our employees and find out that they're professionals they're dedicated they have a wide range of duties that they have to do on behalf of citizens and they do them very well so i appreciate that y'all have uh, conducted these two uh, great events um i think i've covered all i want to say today oh um and a reminder that for, we got new citizens the school board prepares their budget but they have to bring it to us to pass. And we're one of 14 states, Tennessee, that that's the way the system works. But we have a great working relationship with our school board. Uh, he has a great relationship with the school superintendent. So, so we work well together. So we've reached the point in our proceedings where citizens may come forward and speak to the board on issue-oriented items. When you come to the podium, please state your name and address and sign the register that is provided. You're encouraged to keep your comments non-personal in nature, and they should be limited to five minutes. I presume, sir, that you would like to speak to the board. Yes, sir. I would. My name is BG. I live at Kingsport. My exact address is not necessary. Uh, well, we, we would prefer you provide the address. I, I know you prefer it, but you, KPT knows it very well. Well, the reason, let me be, we've got people watching on TV. The reason we ask people for their address is sometimes citizens will bring for, uh, an issue to us that no one was aware of, and this allows the staff to follow up with the individual. But go ahead. Okay, the first uh, uh, thing I want to talk about is um, just so you mentioned the day yesterday that they had KPD for the children and how professional the KPD was. Um, I was there yesterday, and the only ones that I saw acting professional was the EMS and the fire department, because I witnessed the KPD actually going to let some of the children participate in some of the things because I was there, and it's a travesty and a shame. They weren't very professional, they didn't act professional, and it's all because I was there, videography, doing videography. It's the only reason. And it's a shame. It's very unprofessional to deny our kids access to some of those equipment that I don't know already been into. But for them to try to prevent me from videoing it, they denied some of the children access to it until I told them that I would leave just so they could do that. Because I wasn't going to take away from the children's day. But it was disgusting. Another item I want to discuss is you mentioned in a few uh, meetings back that there's supposedly an open door policy for this committee, especially you, Mayor. You said if anybody has any kind of concerns about any issues they might have heard or anything that they might have possibly seen on any kind of social media, and that if there was any discrimination or any question that uh, you would be glad or any member of this committee would be glad to come and speak or you would be welcome to come and talk to you. Is that not correct, sir? Please proceed. Okay. Well, I, I'm just wondering how many doors you have to open to come to that open door policy, sir, because I have personally called your office three times and been to your office personally three times to try to set up a meeting with you, sir, or at least to receive a phone call and that's been six months ago, and I still have yet to receive even a phone call from you, sir. And that's a shame. What kind of open door policy is that? Secondly, or thirdly, I want to uh, commend Ms. Marshall. From all the dealings so far that I have had with this city, she has been the most professional person that I've had to deal with. And I, I congratulate you, ma'am, and I appreciate you helping me like you have been. I know that you might be being put under some pressure that you shouldn't be because of me, and if you are, I apologize for that. But you are, you're doing your job very well, and I appreciate your time and your effort that you have given me. 
Secondly, or thirdly, or fourthly, I'm not sure. I'm sorry, I apologize. First time I've ever done anything like this. I'm a little nervous. There is a, a citizen in this city who was falsely arrested by the Kingsport Police Department. He's an upstanding member of this, com of this community. He's a teacher, as well as an athletic coach at one of the local schools. There was a clerical error with his last name that caused him to be arrested and taken to jail and booked. He was released because they finally eventually figured out that it was a mistake. I have asked for the records for that arrest. I'm being denied those records, possibly because I didn't word it exactly, but they know what I want and I'm not getting the records. The man was falsely arrested. The Kingsport Police Department will not even meet with me or consider even admitting to their mistake, although they have already admitted to him of the mistake. The man was arrested on a Sunday morning as church parishioners were leaving and passing by his house. Many people saw him being arrested. There has not been anything but a duty public to apologize or even to acknowledge the mistake that was given. There's not anything in that on charges because it's not been formally charged. So the people who saw this man getting arrested or formulate their own opinions and it's not fair to this man. His name needs to be cleared. He is an upstanding member of this community and he's been shamed. And it's a travesty that the Kingsport Police Department is not even admitting to their mistake. And it's a shame that this man is having to suffer over that. That's all I have to say today, thank you. Thank you, are there any other citizens that wish to come forward to speak to the board? If not, we're adjourned. Somebody needs to do something about it, Mayor. Man was arrested, his name needs cleared. He's an upstanding member of this community. He's a teacher and a coach. His name needs to be fixed. You need to look into it, sir. You won't have a meeting with me, so I had to come here. I'm sorry that I had to do this in the public, but you wouldn't do it behind private doors. So shame on you, Mayor. Shame on you. You need to do better. You need to do better, sir. If you say you have open door policy, you're a liar. You're an absolute liar. You don't have no open door policy. I'll be back. I hope you've been sleeping well, Mr. Rao. Yes, sir. I hope you can sleep tonight.